Hey crafters, Lisa here from Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you could join me for another Inspiration Friday. So this week, I thought it would be fun to do some sublimation. We haven't done any in a while. And while I was on vacation, I loved to read books. And I ended up on vacation without a bookmark. I ended up finding one and I bought one. But that's when it made me realize, why don't I have more bookmarks? So I thought it would be fun to show you how you can supplement on metal. And in this case, they're going to be for bookmarks. I can't wait to show you how to do this. And hey, if this is your first time stopping by, we do all kinds of tutorials here at Fun Stuff Crafts. Just happens to be this week, it's going to be supplementation. But every Friday, I post an Inspiration Friday project just trying to inspire you to try new things. So stick around and I'm gonna show you how we can do a little sublimation on metal today. And make sure you click on that subscribe button and click on the bell and YouTube will alert you each time I upload a new video. So stick around. Today, I'm gonna meet you back over at my computer and we are gonna do some designing in Canva before we get to sublimation. We're gonna to start today in Canva. Now I do have a paid version of Canva, but I'm gonna show you some of the free options that you're gonna be able to use. There's lots of other design software that you might want to use, but I like using Canva because I can bring in photos into my sublimation art. So let's start out by creating a new design. I'm gonna go ahead and just do a custom one and I'm gonna use eight by 10 as my starting point. Now for the bookmarks, I like to use the element tab and then I like to use frames. And this gives me the opportunity to put the entire picture into a frame. So I found a frame earlier today that worked out really nice for the bookmarks and it's down here a little bit. So let me just scroll down until I find it and then we're gonna go ahead and grab it and put it onto our blank page and here it is. And so I'm gonna move that up and then I also want to grab a second one. But before I do that, I'm gonna size this one up and remember my bookmark is four and three quarters by one and a quarter. So I'm gonna put this right at about five inches. I always like to make my designs a little bit bigger. That way I make sure that I can get the entire um, design on my substrate, which is going to be our metal bookmarks. Let's grab this other rectangle also and as you can see my design is going to be going um, a different direction with this one and that's why I wanted to grab a second rectangle. I've got one where my design is going up and down and one is going right to left. So next what we want to do is we want to go over we're still in the element tab and I'm going to go ahead let's start out with some flowers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and type in flowers and I wanna go over to the photo tab and the photo tab is gonna give me those beautiful pictures. Now this one that I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna use free, but I wanna show you where pro comes up here. That would be the paid version. But let's grab that first one and this is a free picture you can use and I just brought it and it popped right into my frame. Now, as I'm looking, let's put something different on this next one. Let's see what we can find out with some mountains or a nature theme. And so I just type in mountains and I'm gonna scroll down here and see what I can find. This one looks really great. I think about as I'm reading a book, I'm gonna take a journey. And that's what this picture reminds me of. So now I could leave my pictures exactly like this and I could put them onto our bookmark. But what I want to do is I want to add some text. So I'm going to go over here to text and I just grab the option of add a heading. 
and I'm just going to start typing. So what I'm going to do on this one is this picture makes me think about dreaming. So I'm just going to put dream for my bookmark. I'm going to change the font. I really like this play script font. So many options for fonts here you guys can have. And then I also want to change that color to be white because I really want it to show up on my bookmark. Now let's make that just a little bit bigger. One of the things I want to caution you on is remember that our bookmark is only an inch and a quarter um, in width. And so I want to make sure when my design is laying this way that the word dream is going to show up. So I'm just sizing up to make sure that dream is going to show. And you'll see when I do the next design that when you lay your design this way, your font can definitely be a little bit bigger. Now, let's go ahead and go up to the next one. After I finish my little tweaking here, let's go up to the next one and let's add in another heading. And this time, like I said before, this reminds me of take a journey. So I'm typing in take a journey and then I need to move it up to where we can see it. And I think up in that blue sky would be really pretty. But I need to make sure I size it so I can see it on my bookmark. So I need to take this down to about a one inch width. And that's what I'm doing right here. So then I'm going to center it. And one of the things I really like about Canva is once I get it to the size I want, when I bring it over, you can barely see that red line, but I know I'm right centered. So now I've got both of my designs ready to go. I could definitely have done more designs on here. I've definitely got space for more, but I'm just gonna go with the two today. So what we're gonna do now is we are gonna go up and we are going to download the designs. And I like to download them in a PNG format. It gives me the best photo quality. And I'm going to download it. Now, as it's preparing the download, it is going to pop up and I am going to be able to see my beautiful designs we just created. So now we need to print our designs. So we're going to go up to File, and I am going to say Print. Now, if you've been with me before, you know that I use a Epson Workforce 7210, and I have my sublimation settings already set up. I do have a preset setting that is set for sublimation. And one of the reasons why I do that is it automatically mirror images my designs. Now I wouldn't normally need to do that if I didn't have words, but in this case I have words, so it's very important that you always mirror image. So now what I'm gonna do is we're going to hit the print button and I'm gonna join you over at my heat press and we will continue on with this project. So I'm over at my heat press station and I just pulled our print off of the printer. And I wanna to talk to you guys about the paper I like to use. I love to use the A sub paper. And I've actually got a link down below to the site that I get this at. And I actually have a discount code for you guys to use. So I'm really excited. This is the only sublimation paper that I use. I also have the larger size on hand, the ledger size, but for today, we just needed the eight and a half by 11. A couple things I love about this paper, you guys, is that one, the colors come out absolutely beautiful. This is a print that I did earlier today, um, and I just think the colors came out absolutely beautiful. The other thing that I think is really unique is the paper is marked A sub on the back. So I never question that I'm loading it in my printer the right way. So if you're looking for some good sublimation paper, I definitely recommend this. And check out the link down below and you guys can pick up a 15% discount for buying the product. Lots of other good things on their site too, but 
the paper is what we're using today. So a couple things that we wanna talk about. These bookmarks that I picked up were 30 to a pack. Now, they do have a um, piece of film over them, and so I actually use my weeding pen um, to take off the film, and I just can pick that up right with my pen and pull that right off. So really key that you're pulling that off. I've already done it to my, um, my other one here. The other thing that you're going to want to have is some heat transfer tape. And I always have that on a roll right next to my printer. And so what I'm gonna do is I am going to lay my design face down and I'm just going to center it. And this is where you guys, I said, my design was definitely bigger than my bookmark. And that's what we want because we wanna make sure we're fully getting the full amount. Okay, so then I'm going to do my second one. Just gonna put some tape. Now the reason why I'm putting the tape is because I want, I don't want this to move at all. So I've got the tape done. And then what I'm going to do is, I think I've showed you guys this before, but I keep a notebook on all of my settings and I've already added this one in as a new setting. So metal bookmarks 340 degrees for 50 seconds. So I've got my heat press all set up and ready to go. So let's move over to the heat press and I'll show you how I am laying this design. So one of the things I always do is I always have a piece of blowout paper. So this is protecting my pad. And then we have got our design and everything is taped. I always want to put, in this case, I want to put it face down, okay? So my bookmark is facing up, my design is facing down. I recommend that wherever you get your substrates from, bookmarks being mine this time, look at what they recommend your heat settings to be, and a lot of times they have what the layering should be. I have found this is what works best for me. So I've got another piece we call a blowout paper over the top. I'm going to bring my arm of my heat press around. My heat press is already up to 340 degrees for 50 seconds. I'm going to engage my heat press. One of the things I'm going to make sure I have ready to go when my um, timer comes up is my um, gloves because this is really going to be warm. 340 degrees. In my chest below my heat press, I like to keep hot pads. So I'm gonna have a hot pad sitting off to the side that I can put my design onto. So as soon as this is done um, and it goes off, we'll meet you back over and we'll take a look and see what our design looks like. Okay, my buzzer's going off. I'm gonna go ahead and swing my arm away and I am going to make sure that I put my gloves on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those on. Really important that you guys have a good set of gloves. Mine came with my heat press, so I was really lucky. Now I wanna show you guys that bottom sheet of paper. This is why we have blowout paper. It helps protect, okay? And so what we're gonna do now is let's just take off our bookmarks. And oh my gosh, you guys, these colors. Again, this is why I love using that A sub paper. The colors are beautiful. I'm using my Cosmo ink. That is the type of ink that I have found that works best for my um, sublimation. And look at that. That one's absolutely beautiful too. Now we're gonna let those cool for just a couple minutes. I'm gonna take my gloves off. And I wanna show you guys another thing that came with these bookmarks, is I got 30 bookmarks and it came with these cute little tassels. So you can see on the bookmark that I did earlier today, I've already put this cute little pink tassel on. I just think it really adds. I, I love to um, have a good bookmark whenever I'm reading a book, but also you guys, these are fun for gifts to give people. Think about what you could do for kids. You wanna encourage kids to read, right? And so give them a 
fun bookmark. Put their name on it. I went with photos today, but you guys could add all different um, pictures, names, sayings, um, all kinds of different things. And then you've got some beautiful bookmarks. The other thing, you guys, if you do craft fairs, um, what a great little project to do to sell at a craft fair. So here we've got three beautiful bookmarks. It took me just minutes to make, and I can't wait to go add them to my next book I'm gonna be reading. So I hope you enjoyed this Inspiration Friday project supplementing on metal bookmarks. And here's our finished product. I just love how these bookmarks turned out. I hope you enjoyed this video, and hey, if you did, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. I just think there's just so many possibilities to do with these bookmarks. And if you're looking for other type of DIY type projects, make sure you check out my blog at funstuffcrafts.com where I've got lots more tutorials. Thanks.